Okay, now that's very interesting. That Bartok piece, actually, if you listen to it, it comes to rest on D. And it uh -huh. would be like if you did solfege, it would be sol, fa, me, re, do, because it starts on sol. It's not C major, right? It's not A minor. How do you know that? You can't tell by the key signature. He doesn't really give us justice to it having a key signature, does he? Because if it was D minor, you'd have to put a B flat on the key signature, right? Right, right, but right. But actually, if we just listen and the ears have to tell us, it came to rest on D, and it really explored a five-finger position, sol, fa, me, re, do. Is that right? Yep, yep. Right, so when you transpose now to another key like A minor, what would mm -hmm. be the first note you would start on to transpose it? Uh, on A. It wouldn't be A. Because remember, when we look at the original piece, it came to rest on D. It was D minor. Right. And it right. can show you a little A, G, F, E, D on a little footnote on top to show you that's your five finger position. And you didn't start on the tonic D, did you? You started on the fifth note of D minor. The fifth note, yeah. Which means yeah. if you transpose it to A minor, you're going to have to start on the fifth note of A minor. Fifth so note. we're going to start on E. So your hand position right. will be. A, B, C, D, E. Does that make sense? A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, right, right, right. So right, A minor. Okay. Right, right, right. We want to make sure you know that. Okay, right. let's do it. Okay. So I'm doing A minor, right? A minor, and you're starting on sol. Right. Sol. Right. Dominant note. One, two, three, four. One, two. To C minor. Okay, C minor. Okay, now if it's C minor, what starting note would it be? Which degree of the C minor scale? So first, the C minor scale. All you has have to know to... is the first five notes, right? Because he's right. just exploring five notes, a pentascale of the of the scale. Right. Five so notes. what I did was I took the C major, and then. That's C okay. Wait. D, D, D. Yeah, I think your five finger positions help you with this. Right, okay, right. now you're starting on sol. Sol. Right. So on the G. Yes. So one, two, three, four. 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 Oh. Okay. Now, what would be the position that you would have to have your hands and to, to transpose to F sharp minor? Okay, let me try. F sharp, G sharp, and then a half step here. That's right, that's right. So A, a whole step, right. and a whole step. Right, that's exactly right. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp. Okay, that's going to be a key I'm going to ask you to transpose to. I'm also going to ask you to transpose to G minor, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm, okay. I'm just jumping around. I'm jumping okay. Around. So, so you F should be able to grab these positions, right? Um, and you said G minor, right? G minor, uh-huh. Okay. And I'll do one more, and I'll ask you to go to, um, let's see, B flat minor. Okay. So you've got three this week. You had F sharp minor, G minor, okay. and B flat minor. Okay. 
Okay. That's good for the geographies of your hand too. Now, yeah. are you just doing that number three? Is that what you're doing? I did number three and number four actually. Okay. Let's look at it and see what it is. Play it for me. Now he's 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 starting on B C D E F. He's got a five finger position that All isn't right. major and it isn't minor. Do you notice that? That position. The position so is uh, not major or minor in terms of right. Yeah, right. In terms, it doesn't matter because we're going to hear what the music does to tell what key it's in. Let's hear it first the way it's written. Okay. One, two. So this should be up here. Your hands are two octaves apart. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Your hands are two octaves yeah. apart. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So one, two, three, four. One, two. C, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. He's in a C oh, okay. Major. Okay, 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 okay. So let me do that whole thing again. I will start on the top. Fa, mi, re, mi, 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 re, Me to do it in G major. Okay. Okay. Now your fingers will be in a little bit of an awkward position, but that's okay because it starts on the seventh note of the scale, does it not? Yes. Yep. Yep. Right. So your thumb is going to be on F sharp. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so th these aren't like the standard five finger positions you're used to here. This is different. So, so the first thing to do is define the note spread that you're going to do. So F sharp. G, A, B, and C, right? Those are the five notes that are going to yeah. cruise around. F sharp, so F sharp, G, G, just G, A, A, B, B and C. C. And there you go. Okay. Seventh note, first, second, third, fourth of the scale. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So now you don't even look at your fingers. You just follow the the spade, the step down or step up, right? So right. So you have T do re. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Oh, 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 oh,
Uh, I see the same mistake. Yeah, actually, he, he on both pieces he comes back to the tonic. He doesn't go up. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. So that, this is good for you, um, and this one particularly because it's not the standard five finger major minor position. It starts on the seventh note. Uh, I'm going to assign you redo that one, the G major okay. one. Um, now I'm going to ask you to do D major, D as in David, uh -huh. and F major. Okay. okay. D major and F major. I'm jumping around. Because okay. you should be able to grab these things, what geographies you, you know. And they, okay. they give you a clue upstairs by giving you a footnote. All right. So next time we'll go to the other one. The other one is just uh, more sight reading.